la 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 Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Don't know what was going on in the beginning. All I know is that Sister Act 2 makes me go nuts. I love that. Yeah. That. Yeah. 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 I don't know what that's all about. Anyway, we got another special episode for you guys. Welcome back to another episode of season two of Painting with Chuck Lee. I'm Chuck Lee. <laughs> I'm such an idiot. I'm gonna paint a luchador today. All the music is gonna be my music, and this luchador is for my homie Armando. Cool, cool dude. I worked with him at Detroit Public Schools. He is one of the homies. I love this guy to death. He's the type of guy that you can call up and be like, yo, can I leave my car at your house for a little while while I go out to San Francisco to visit my buddy Connor? Yeah, he let me keep my car there. He's also the one that gave me this lens that you see me <laughs> speaking to you. He gave me a couple of lens. He's a dope ass photographer. And um, he knew that I was starting a YouTube channel and just wanted to help me, help me out and just do me some lenses. So I said, hey, how about I paint you a picture? And this is that video. He said he wanted a luchador with like some day to dead uh, Mexican-esque type of roses around it. And I thought it was a dope idea because I love day of the dead artwork. So he set me up for some sweet stuff. I mean, I'm not really into luchadors other than Nacho Libre, which is my top three favorite movie of all time. Jack Black killed that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I guess there won't be any more of that anymore. <laughs> anyway, I won't hold you guys up anymore. Let's get right into the video. All right, guys, so this part, the beginning, I wanted to get the gold leaf down right after I finished doing the, the outline. I thought it was important to get the gold leaf down early just so I wouldn't have to worry about doing gold leaf over parts where I've already painted. I think it was a really good idea, and you'll also notice that all the gold leaf didn't end up covering the whole area. I later go in and paint over it, and I thought that that would be a kind of a cool contrast of the gold, and it would just give the painting a little more personality. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. So when it came to the mask, that was one of the easier parts to do, at least like the green part that I'm working on now. I feel like with time comes experience and I didn't find too much trouble doing the mask. Going to the reference, the reference is a lot different than what I'm painting, but that's only because the reference was super dull and I kind of gave it a little more life. I wanted to add more colors and I'm experimenting a little bit with the mask as well. You see, I'm adding a little blue here and there, but th that part was probably one of the easier parts. As we start getting into the skin tones, that was a little bit tougher, but I feel like I executed that pretty well too, as you'll see. <laughs> Alright guys, so as we get into the skin tones for the body, I just wanted to show you a couple pictures from the camping trip that I just took this past weekend with some of my favorite people. My baby was there and all my friends and it was really good to just get out there and see some of my people. It was, it was awesome. Later on in the video, maybe we'll, we'll show you some video that I took while I was out there too.
right guys, so I have to like stop and like actually like do my talking head for this part because I don't think I've ever been as proud of a painting as I was when I got to this stage. I realized that sometimes less is more. Now when I did the eyes and the face and all of that, I have been watching a lot of uh, Alpac, I forget, but this is, this is him. Uh, I've been watching a lot of his videos and I learned so much from watching them, including that I shouldn't put too much detail in. You, you, sometimes painting is an illusion of detail and I really absorbed that and put it into this piece and I love the way that the eyes came out and it's so much less than I would normally do. Anyway, let's get right back into the video. Alright guys, now we're getting into the background, the roses. This was a really fun part of the painting. It was fun because it wasn't hard, you know, I was just painting at this point. I was super happy with the way that the portrait looked and now I just need to wrap it up with the background. You'll notice that I'm doing a layer around the luchador first before I start going in. Now I did that for a reason, I wanted the... I wanted it to almost look like there was a shadow, so I wanted to put something underneath the roses just around his face. And if you, you won't know, it's a very subtle thing, but it makes it look like he's popping out of the painting. And again, this part was so much fun because I just love painting things that aren't hard where I can just lose myself in the painting, throw in some tunes and just get after it. <laughs> guys as we get into this home stretch right here I just feel so so strongly about how good I felt about the progression of my art when it came to this now I've done a few more paintings uh, before this that you guys haven't seen yet but I wanted to make this video this week just because of how much I couldn't wait to show you guys my <laughs> my painting skills and where they've gone um, it felt really good to make this painting and I just again want to thank Armando for giving me the opportunity to do this and helping my channel out so much with these lenses but yeah we're just gonna we're in that home stretch right now getting the rest of these flowers uh, put on there the roses and um, yeah <laughs> good stuff All right, guys, and with that, that's going to be another video done. Thank you so much for coming out for another video. Season 2 is starting off real strong. I love the Demon Slayer joint. And I don't know if you guys seen on my Instagram, you can go follow me on Instagram at Chuck Lee MBM for Mad Planet Music. 1000 jumped on my Instagram and liked my Demon Slayer joint. How sweet is that? Love, love, love that. It's a, uh, it was so cool to get a, get props from 1000. And also, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I'm not using the bamboo stick anymore. Check this guy out. How sweet is this? This is from my favorite subscribers, Mama. This is from Keely's mom. It is a stick that I can use now to, to, <laughs> to use to, to ground myself while I'm painting. Uh, I love this stick so much that for that painting that I did of the bat for Keeley, I got this in exchange and I love it so much, you guys. There's so many layers to it. Um, I don't know if you guys can notice, but it has an octopus on it. <laughs> Hold on, let me tap on that to make sure that you guys can see. Hold on, there it is. We're a little, yeah, check it out, it's an octopus. And you might also notice that 
the seven chakras are also on this. She gave me a whole full rundown of all, all the meaning and everything that went into it, and I'll put it on I'll put it on screen right here, but I am just honored that I have people that follow my channel and people that love me so much that would <laughs> do something like this. Big ups to the whole family, Chrissy Darrow. Keely, love you guys so much, and I love my new painting stick. <laughs> if I was a superhero, this would be my, <laughs> this would be my joint. <laughs> like, what is your, choose your weapon. <laughs> it's this joint right here. <laughs> love you guys. Thank you guys again so much for coming out. Armando, you're the, yeah. <laughs> you're the freaking man. <laughs> and I'll catch you guys next week for some more sweet stuff. <laughs>